Hey y'all, what's up, what's up, what's up? Today I'm going to talk to you about um, Greek mythology books written by Elizabeth. So, um, for the past maybe three or four months, she has been writing some Greek mythology book about Hercules, um, Apollo, uh, we have Achilles and Elena, Alana, I think her name is Alana, and then recently she just wrote a book about, um, whew, I ever have the worst memory in the world. Um, this book is about, it's called Insensible, and it's about, okay, Alexander of Troy. You guys, you have to forgive me. I'm trying to remember so many books at once. Okay, so she has been on this Greek mythology kick, and let me tell you guys, I love Greek mythology. I love the whole Hercules, Xena, um, uh, Zeus, all of them, Apollo, uh, the Poseidon, I love all of them, those Greek mythologies. Um, I used to love the movies, and now with the book, it's just coming right back into fruition. These books are phenomenal. If you guys are into Greek mythology at all, you will love her twists, her little turns, her little plots, her little um, different dialogue and like schemes, um, not even schemes, but like, um, I could say analogies in this book in the books not just one book but they are great guys i think you should check them out um the first one i read was uh okay oh you gotta forgive me i don't remember the name of it but i know it's about hercules and um and the girl okay i am so bad at this i will put a picture of the book in the description box so you can see i remember i know i remember another one and this one is called catalyst i remember that one that one's about achilles and alana um that one is um as is another greek mythology and they always talk about old coming to pass oh no old becoming present so you remember um i talked about uh it was shelley's book um the beast of Jesus, I am so bad with this name. Anyway, one of the books, the books that the werewolf book that she had created back then when um, talk about the thing that happened in ancient history and then history repeat itself. It's the same thing with these Greek mythology books. Their books are basically whatever happened in way back when BC, ABC, whatever that is back then. And now they come into pass. So the, these people are like reincarnated now. They still get their old spirits back. And they're in order in all the books, they're trying to find their soulmate. Because they all were killed in battle. They all um, died with some woman related to them. Some of them were their um, spouse from back then. Some of them were not their spouse. Some of them were people that were in their lives that shouldn't be in their lives. And now... When this, when they come to the um to now the present, they meet, they finally meet their spouse after living centuries of centuries in misery and heartache and betrayal and all that stuff. All these Greek mythology come right back into play. I love every single one of them, guys. I think it's about four or five of them. I'm going to, as I said, list all of them in um. Not in my description box, and I'm also going to show pictures of them. So, guys, you have to forgive me because I read them so long ago, and they're all coming back into play. So, I think you guys will love it if you're into Greek mythology, if you're into that um, Xena, um, Zeus, Warrior Princess, uh, Hercules, Achilles. <clears throat> this one was the um, Alexander of Troy. And they're not long books, guys. They're really not long books. They're very um, short books, about maybe, I'll say 50 to 100 pages, if that much. And they're very in tune. They're very in-depth. They're The dialogues are great. It keeps you entertained the whole time. Sometimes, if you're not... Um, if you're not paying attention, you'll miss a few, like a little few uh, back and forth, like now and then scenarios. So you have to pay um, attention also. You also have to pay attention to names because their names have changed a lot since, um, since in the Greek mythology and now to present. So you have to um, pay attention to that. Overall, I think the books are awesome. Awesome, awesome, awesome. I love every single one of them. And I'm going to go read them again. I do, as I said, I do love Greek mythology. And you have to forgive me, guys. I'm, I'm reading so many books at once. And I don't get to do all the reviews. So when I do get a chance to do them, this is what happens. So forgive me, guys. Again, all these books are written by Elizabeth. All right. Check them out and let me know. Bye, guys.